Landing in the dirt, staring at the screen, and I guess we have another minute to waste. What is going on, guys? Welcome to another episode of Ninja Review, the series where I review videos submitted to me by you guys. Last week, we hit rock bottom. This week's videos are definitely better than last week. Then again, you can't get worse, can you? By the way, today's format will change a little bit because this first video is of John Navaroli, but it's filmed and edited by Josh Loisel. The skateboarder did not submit this video, the filmer did. So we're going to ease off on the mean comments as far as the skateboarding goes, for the most part, and instead mainly critique the filming and editing. So let's rewind and hit play. Fading from black, starting off kind of boring, kick flip up, coming up, back lip on the rock. Filming seems okay, a little bit dark, but the colors are nice, nose bonk. Line's looking good, getting a little bit of speed here. 180, watch out for that car! <laughs> and, okay, see, we're already off to a bad start. That was a lot of roll up, and I imagine that he's trying to make this fit the song, but that much roll up, I mean, the skateboarder wasn't even really skating or getting ready for the trick, so why is that included in the video? Back lip shove, nicely done. Is filming him sit down really necessary? See, like, he finished the trick and then had time to jump up on the bench right there. I think, well, I know. I know this is for a slow song, and I know a lot of people try to cater the video to the song. You know, the skateboarder says, I want to skateboard to this song. And then it's the filmer and editor's job to sort of make that a reality. But in a situation like this, if you don't have enough tricks to have a slow, like, let me say it like this. If you have to slow down the skating to make it match the song, then instead what you should be doing is tell your skater, hey, get out there, we need to grind a lot more because you don't have enough tricks for a song this slow. And if the filmer slash editor chose this song, then they chose the wrong fucking song for this guy. Fubal grind, looking good, push to once. <laughs> push to ice. Coming up on the table, back 5-0 for 180, nicely done. And then just a ton of roll away right here, ton of roll up. Perfect backside flip, that was awesome. Right here, like, <laughs> how many seconds, let me just rewind for you guys, how many seconds was I forced to just look at this curb, this rock formation right here? What's the point of that? I imagine it's so the backside flip would be on beat, but it ruins my experience. I know a lot of people don't watch videos as critically as I do, but you should have known something was up when you're editing this, thinking to yourself, wow, I got to really fucking eat. Like, right here, I got to use the whole beginning of the clip. Also, when do you even hit record? Like, <laughs> you're filming with an HD camera. Are you hitting record? Do you ever not hit record? Like, how do you do that? Like, when they used to film with the VX, a lot of people would never stop and start. I never understood that, but I guess it was more likely to glitch the tape if you stopped and restarted. Right here, this guy's filming the whole goddamn session. Probably because he knows. Right here, what was that all about? The skateboarder had already, like, <laughs> expressed his displeasure with the trick. Right there, spending all day. Now, see, at this point, while he was editing, he started getting to the point where he realized he wasn't going to have enough footage. So, right here, we have this. Looks like it's either intentionally slow mode. Because, look, there's no way that he's gonna cover that much distance, jumping off this ledge, going that slow. So you're really stretching your clips out. And also at the end of this video, that's when it got all weirdly artsy, right? We started showing the B-roll, the roll up, the bails, the falls. I didn't mean to pause it, I thought it was over. Let's start back again. Loading, 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 technical difficulties. This is my life on Ninja Review, you piece of shit. Switch from big spin. Almost hit the tourists. Coming up fakey. Caught the frontside flip, nicely done. Fakey frontside flip off the little gap there. Landing in the dirt, staring at the screen, and I guess we have another minute to waste. Overall, this video had some good tricks, but I could never say it's jam-packed with good tricks because what it's jam-packed with is wasted time. Too much roll up, too much roll away, and I'm sure I keep saying it over and over again, I'm sure 
It's to hide the fact that there weren't enough tricks to accomplish whatever the editor was going for. And the viewer wouldn't usually be able to notice that if he didn't make the mistakes this obvious. Let me know your thoughts in a comment below. Let me know if you agree with my analysis and let's move on to the next video. It's called Super Epic Rad iPhone Clips by Ethan ASZ Nolly. Nose manual first trick. Nolly flip out starting off with a bang. Nicely done. Still going pretty quick here. And front big spin, maybe toe drag, maybe not. Nolly heel flip crooked grind. Nicely done. Getting ready for some stairs. Front three shove. I've never done that in my life. Don't know how it works. The laser flip right there. The other filmer probably had a better view. Tray flip, board stall. Rock fake, you idiot. Kick flip 5-0. Quality's not too bad for the old cell phone footage. Front grind down the rail. Front board down the rail. Getting on the skateboard. Notice way less roll up, way less roll away on this. Well, this is a bad example because it's a line. But you can see the difference. Backsmith, obviously this is just iPhone clips. But you know what? I kind of think this is already, just because the tricks are back to back to back to back, it's already, in my opinion, more exciting. Crooked grind down, even though it's park footage. Big spin down the stairs. Switch heel, flat ground. I like the idea that when people do big tricks, they then follow it up with a flat ground trick. You see that a lot in the rough cuts or whatever. Kickflip 5-0 on the side of the... Little bench there, kick flip back tail, holding on to the back tail, sliding the whole way. A lot of roll up here, switch inward heel, I think. And you know what? I'm not going to call toe drag on that because number one, it was a fucking crazy trick. Number two, rolling away with the tail broken, ultimate fucking swag. It's the ultimate party trick to do on a skateboard. It's rare to see that these days. Rocket switch flip down the stairs, kick flip manual. You could have brightened that clip, I think. Another. Another switch flip. We're getting a little bit repetitive. I hope I don't see any more switch flips at the end of this. Kick flip over the... I don't know what that was. A bench, I guess. And then another kick flip. So we are getting a little bit repetitive. A fuckload of roll up here. So maybe Nolly back heel. Maybe that was his uh, banger. But it's not. So I don't know what the roll up there was. I think just lazy editing. Kick flip back tail. We've already seen a kick flip back tail. Tray flip. We are getting repetitive. Um, if you're going to do the same trick over and over and over again, I don't know if I would call the video super epic rad. I think it would be called super repetitive, same tricks over and over again. What tricks am I already good at that I do a bunch of times? That's what this would be. Filmer right there, shaky as fuck. Another front big spin. At this point, you know, I try to judge the video based on what it is. This is just this guy collecting Instagram clips or whatever, so I get it. But, uh, it's on YouTube, so I think to make the video more exciting, I think a little bit more effort should have been put into the editing. But that's just my opinion. Let's go back and rewatch this, my favorite clip of the video. That is just a sight to see, isn't it? And then right here, we barely slide at all. For this video, I think the skateboarding is really, really good. This skateboarder has a ton of talent. But the video editing, I just think the video doesn't do his skill justice. Some clips shaky, some clips dark, and the main problem was a ton of repeated tricks. Then again, the video is just called iPhone Clips, so it doesn't say video part. So I don't want to overthink what's going on here, but I do know that towards the end of that video, I started to kind of fall asleep on the repeated tricks, and that's not something you want the viewer to do, especially if this video was in the context of a sponsor tape. I think the repetitive tricks is sort of a waste of time for the viewer. If you'd like to go back and check out either of these videos with their song choice rather than my annoying voice, a link to both videos will be in the description below. Let me know your thoughts on my critique. I felt like I kept it fair today. Both skaters had a lot of skill, but when it comes to critiquing a video, skill is not the only factor. If you would like to be a part of Ninja Review, remember, you don't just need skill, just try hard. All you have to do to be a part of this series, contact me on Facebook, send me a message. Type in Ninja Lifestyle, find me on Facebook, send me a link to an HD video of you that you created in the message, right? This is for Ninja Review, and I will check it out, and hopefully you'll do as good of a job as both of these guys. No one here 
has anything to be ashamed of with their video parts or their skateboarding. We can always be a little bit better though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe. If you're not subscribed already, we upload multiple videos every single week here on Ninja Lifestyle. So I hope to see you guys next time. Kuna Matata, bitches. In the arms.